when creating a Google Form, some best practices are to separate first name from last name and ask a multiple choice question, what period are you in? Now when you shuffle questions, you don't want what class are you in to be the last question or what's your last name to be question number seven. So one of the ways to get around this is to use sections. In your Google Form, notice in the floating toolbar on the side, the top icon is to add a question, but the bottom icon will add a section. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to, what is your first name? Add a new question. What is your last name? Add a question. What class are you in? And I'm going to do this as a drop down. If you have more than four options, I recommend use drop down instead of multiple choice. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, or seventh period. And then what I want to do is come over and choose section. So this separates it out. So I have my demographics questions, what's your name, what class are you in, separated from the questions. What color is red writing its hood? And red, blue, green, yellow. I'm going to do the three dots. I'm going to shuffle my option order and add a new question. Who is the antagonist? And we'll leave that to be short answer. I'm going to come up here to the settings cog and when I click on the settings cog I'm going to go to presentation and you'll notice I have the option for shuffle question order. So when I shuffle question order it shuffles the question. So they might first be asked who's the antagonist and then be asked what color is Red Riding Hood's hood or vice versa. But what I know is because I've created these in separate sections is that the demographics question, first name, last name, and class are always going to be in the first section. Now mind you, they're going to be shuffled. It might be what class are you in, last name, first name, or any combination because they're shuffled within the section. Let's take a look. I'm going to go up to the eyeball so I can preview this Google form. And you can see that so you see it says first name, what class are you in, and last name. They're not in the same order. And when I go to the next one, it says what color is Red Riding Hood's hood, who's the antagonist. But when I submit it again, you'll notice now it says what class are you in, first name, and then last name. And now I have antagonist and what color is Red Riding Hood's hood, that the order has changed because the questions are shuffled but only within the section.